Hi guys, Lizbeth here coming at you with a declutter of my purses because I should be in the basement dealing with that. But I'm on my fourth round of bringing stuff up from the basement and I just can't deal with it any longer. So to procrastinate, I decided to do my purse declutter. So let's start with the change purses. This is a tapestry bag. I am keeping this one. This one is just a little one that, you know, you have your ID and your cards over here and it fits really flat. So I'm definitely keeping that. This one I use for with, I use my black purses. So I'm keeping that change purse. This is a card carrier, which I think is beautiful. I got it from Charming Charlie's. Um, I purchased, I got it free with purchases. The only problem I'm having is I worry about having this in the bag when I have uh, my cell phone because I'm afraid of it scratching up the front because this is kind of sharp. It is. I'm trying not to blind it. It's got a mirror inside, but it's for cards and they tend to, the lip holds it in, but they, it, it tends to also have a hard time pulling them out. So I'm going to pass this beautiful thing on. Here's another change purse I used to use looped around my wrist and it held like my keys and an ID, but I think I'm going to pass it B for Beth. The friend who gave it to this to me knows me as Beth. I used it for many years, so I feel I'm going to pass that on. Do you guys have a hard time when it's a gift, even though you've used it and got your use out of it, feeling guilty about passing it on? I'm trying not to feel that way, but I'm having trouble. This I got from my sister for my birthday one year. It's a sock change purse. I actually, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's extending down because I actually have change in it now. So I use this whenever I go to the laundromat to clean the blankets. So keeping this. So that was one, two, three, four change purses I am keeping. Let's see if I can put those in the frame. And then two that I am passing on. I'm trying to do the KonMari method of keep just what I love, but also kind of be practical, because I do love that. I mean, that's gorgeous, but if I'm never going to use it, if it's going to worry me, if I have it in my purse, what's it going to scratch up, then there's no point in keeping that around. So now for my purses. This is a coach purse I got from my sister-in-law. It is dirty. It's the canvas. I you know, generally used it as my summer purse. I'm going to talk to Coach and see if I can get that clean. Uh, so I'm going to keep it and see how I clean that. If I can't get the stains out, I will pass it on. Maybe someone will be better than I am. But I am going to keep it for now, planning on using that this summer. Another purse that I love, this is Loren by Ralph Loren. I got it from TJ Maxx. It basically is just a one zipper compartment. I can get my iPhone 6 Plus in here, which I'm happy about. And then there's for my keys. So keeping that. This is a tapestry bag uh, designed by Cat Wells. I don't know if you guys have heard of her, but God, look at that beautiful tapestry. I just love this bag. It... Uh, has a rabbit on one side, and I actually am not sure, but I think it's a polar bear on the other. Now, the only way I use this, since it has a shoulder strap on it, it only has one snap, and usually I don't like bags with one snap because I don't feel they're that secure, you know, if people can reach their hand down. But I have this tapestry change perch that she also designed and uh, gave me with it and so I keep that down clear at the bottom like right down there and it's a cross body so it's right next to my body so that's why I feel okay using this purse let me put the shoulder strap back in there okay well not doing that great on the purses let's see what have we got next this is my little leather it's got a cross cross body strap also i take this when i go dancing or 
when I do yard sailing and just want to throw a purse over my shoulder so my hands are free. This is my evening bag. I got it when I was in the military. Um, it's like, I mean, I had to purchase it, but when you have your dress uniform, your, it's not dress, I can't remember the name, but you know, for your fancy dress uniform, this purse is with it. I find that this holds a lot and looks great with all of my cocktail dresses. I usually use this every time that there is a special event. So love that. This was a disappointment. This is a tablet sleeve. I got it for a dollar at, uh, at the Dollar Tree. And basically you put your tablet in. But I don't have a tablet. I thought I would be able to put my iPhone in like up here and just cut it off and do like one line of stitching. And then I wouldn't worry when this was in the bag with it, I wouldn't worry about it scratching the front of my phone. However, my iPhone 6 Plus does not fit up and down. It only hit fit horizontal, and then I would have to cut this part off and this part off, and then I would have to, you know, refine some Velcro and put it in a new place. And I thought, oh please, I am not gonna do that much work. It's not worth it. Goodbye, dollar, dollar tree item. Next is a coach bag that I received from my sister-in-law that I usually use mainly in the winter time just because it's black. I mean, I have used it in the summer uh, when my husband was first diabetic and we, you know, carried his glucerna and all that stuff. Whenever we went to the movies and stuff, I carried this with me so I could just put it in there and we didn't have to, you know, explain to people why he needs his extra you know, snacks and things. <laughs> that way people don't know. So this is my Hard Rock Cafe tote bag that I take with me on every vacation. I just took it with us on the cruise. And basically it's got a drawstring top and it's got straps that you put on like a backpack. So keeping that, love that. Well, so far we've got no purses gone. But luckily, what comes next is this beautiful red tote. I think I mentioned before, I don't um, care for just the one snap because I don't feel it's that secure. And this one, since it's not a crossbody, since the uh, straps might help if I show you the straps. You know, I just hang it off my arm. I am not going to use this as a purse. I used to sometimes like put a book or something in it to carry, but I haven't done that for years. So I might as well pass that on to someone who is going to enjoy that. And last but not least is the purse I am carrying now. I got this from Charming Charlie. I like it. I like the design. I like the color. Uh, it has a shoulder or cross body strap on it, and it also has a wristlet that comes with it. The only problem is it is starting to look very worn. I've actually, I mean, and when you wear, wear through it, it's actually like this white color. I don't know if you can see, and it's very visible. Now, I've tried going through the different places it is worn and trying different magic markers to try to save it or Sharpies. See, I tried a green there, which didn't really match. And that, um, I don't know if you noticed, the color would stick to some, but not to others. I tried brown Sharpie. I've tried, you know, actually the brown Sharpies made it look less than when I was trying green and black Sharpies. Uh, and, it, you know, it's just different spots all over the purse, all over the handle, where I'm kind of disappointed because... I mean, I don't know, it's maybe two years old. Aren't purses supposed to last longer than that? I realize it's not real leather. Maybe they're not supposed to last longer than that. I don't know. But I really enjoyed the purse, but it's sad and worn looking, guys. So I am going to, unfortunately, let it go. Now, I may keep it for a few extra days uh, while I see whether I can get my 
my coach purse cleaned so I can swap it over for for my coach purse so I'll probably keep it a few extra days but what I found or what I've been thinking about is I have been taking the stuff out because with the KonMari method you take your stuff out of your purse every night or most nights and then you know that way you can choose a different purse because usually if your stuff's in your purse that's the one you're going to grab but if you take it out every night then you know every day is a new day to see what purse you're going to get i chose this probably 95 percent of the time i really like it but it's just it's just looking bad so i don't know how how, how bad do you guys is do you, do you guys's? How bad do you guys let your purses get before you change them? I don't know. Let me know. I have no, because it's been looking bad for probably the last three months. <sighs> I don't know. Impromptu at the end. Oh, let me recap and then I'll do a what's in my purse impromptu if you, you know, if you're interested. Hang on. So for purses, I'm keeping one, two, three four, five, six, and my backpack. Change purses. One, two, three, four. Purses I'm passing on or tossing. One, two. Change purses are things I'm getting rid of. One, two, three. So, one, two, three, four, five five leaving and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven staying so that is my purse series declutter and i'm getting to the point i don't know if i'll ever be able to do another declutter again because i'm getting you know down to the point i don't have a lot okay what do i have in my purse this first thing is where i keep my iphone 6 plus which is what i'm filming on right now these are, I have a little bit of money in this pocket. And then I have like my driver's license and credit card and health card or health cards. Credit cards down there. I don't even know if you can see this dark in that purse. Credit card, which I'm not going to bring out and show you. I have two eyeglass cleaners. I do wear distance glasses when I drive. I don't have to, but I do, I do like them. And here's my real, real teeth cards from the person I'm buying the house from. In the back, I have a restaurant.com certificate for Green Derby Kentucky Bistro. But it's only at night. It seems like I'm over in Kentucky, which is where I'm buying the house, during the day. But you can't use this coupon until after four, so I've got that. A pick, some tissues, a CoverGirl lip gloss, a pen, I guess a piece of paper that needs thrown out, and some gloss. I had my, my teeth, um, I got braces in as, as an adult, and sometimes stuff gets stuck in my teeth because when they were young and they kind of grew all overlapping now that they're straight there's like gaps at the top some a little bit so i always carry that because i do not like stuff in my teeth and end up getting in my teeth a lot and i have car keys couch keys and my p.o box key i don't know what i'm doing with my p.o box since i'll be moving so and that is it for the impromptu what's in my purse and hope you guys enjoyed and i've really got to get back to work back to the scary basement talk to you guys later bye